after last week that was terrible where market decided to delete all of my profit and all of the effort that I've been putting trading you know plan by plan and trade by trade following my backtested plan I finally got my hopes back yeah right I make, made some profit today it's not a big one but I'll take these small winning days over the losing ones each and every day so stay tuned I'm coming right back with the update on my trading Good morning everybody and welcome back to daily forex market analysis today is the monday the 15th of april and last week even though it started very slowly kind of it ended up being a uh, kind of active week specifically if you're trading the uh, harmonic patterns on this portfolio we ended up taking however we ended up taking just one trade and unfortunately it was a loser trade on pound yen so let me let me show you the trade that we took okay so that was a trade x to a a to b b to c to the completion right there and it stopped us out for uh, a roughly 100 pip, pips loss okay so that kind of sucked but it is what it is and i cannot do anything about it i've seen that in my back testing and it's perfectly normal i have nothing to worry about however it's never a pleasant feeling when you get stopped out for a 1% loss, okay? Uh, that was a loser from uh, last week. We also had a one, two winners actually, which we did not take because I'm not trading these patterns on these pairs. This is a cipher pattern here that you can see. Uh, X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D. So if you took it, it was a two target winner, congrats. And we have another pattern, I'm sure this should be here, which is a big uh, Garfield pattern here, which beautifully won for two targets as well. Okay, th that's a small recap of last week. Now let's dig into the six pair portfolio of mine that I'm trading, and let's check out what, is, what do we have on the radar today. Okay, so let me jump this in and let, me, let, let, let us go in order. So I'm gonna delete this, this Garfield and let's see. So, uh, nothing, <laughs> what to say, after winner, nothing, so I just see this like, okay, so right now, I just, I, I, this is not, this wouldn't be something for me, so this is nothing here for me, I just see this big lag and nothing else, so I'm still waiting for price action to do something with this, what we got here. Then we have the Aussie cat. Uh, maybe cipher for those of you who are trading ciphers on this pair. I am not. This is not even a cipher. So yeah, there is nothing. What I expect this to do is let me see something. Let me just check it out. Something. Yes, yes. So we, I'm expecting this to go further up because look, if you check out the hour one and hour four. Both of these time frames are just bullish. You see, we are moving higher, retracing, moving higher. So we, we have uh, one point of retracement, Pu uh, push, push up, retracement, push up. Now I'm expecting retracement. As you can see, the price action can retrace anywhere in this zone here, anywhere, and we would be, we would still be bullish. So what I'm, what, I'm, but I'm not expecting price action to go like. I, I, I would expect something to happen that price action would come in this smaller zone here and then push back to retest it. But that's our four. On our one, actually, what I do expect is this. So we are bullish on our one as well, as you can see. So this was our previous outside return on our one. We breached above it, pulled back, moved above it, pulled back, moved above it. So our previous skill zone, our pullback is here. So until we breach this lower lowest point here, we will be bullish on our one. So anywhere in here, the price actually pulls back and we get a higher, higher, higher close. Uh, that's the strategy that I'm backtesting. You might consider going long for retest of these highs. Okay, so there's a nice 40 pips opportunity lay, uh, waiting for you if the price action aligns here in this skill zone for you. Okay, besides this, I don't see anything else. So let's go to Aussie USD. Since our cipher pattern, Aussie USD is also trading higher. As you can see, actually, I'll put more higher, pullback higher, 
and we got a hard 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 close here so around the surface level so you could have gone long here as well uh, yeah nothing 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 that I see here and on a, on a yeah on a higher time from perspective we're just moving uh, sideways okay because we got a big ass bull rejection here but officially like we are in a, in a bearish trend because we did made, made a new low here and we never reached and the previous outside return but what it sucks is this bull rejection so on a, for on a longer period i wouldn't be considering buying or selling uh on, a, on since looking from the daily basis right because on, until we breach this i wouldn't consider this a bull trend and until we breach this again here this low i wouldn't think of this as a bear trend either okay no, now let's move to the euro dollar. Euro is also pushing higher, as you can see. No, yes, higher. We made a new retest of our lows, so we are official in consolidation on daily. Our four as well. We did not make a new low, so we are consolidating. And then on our one, uh, looks like a bull trend. Yeah, definitely looks uh, definitely a bull trend. But I did I did not backtest the. Um, uh, trend strategies here on this pair and considering the patterns I don't see anything here worth a while okay so maybe this here not this I wouldn't consider this the valid X point but this X to A, A to B yeah so nothing here as well pound yen since our loser what else I'm gonna delete delete it forget about it move on um, not nothing much nothing much yeah so let's just move on pound dollar pound dollar we've been waiting for quite a while over 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 a week now i think for this to happen x to a a to b then we have a what i'm drawing what i'm a, what am i drawing b to c c to d completion it's a cipher pattern so we will see is this gonna complete this week or not if this doesn't, well, we, we might have something like X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D, as always. And that's the same goes for the pound yen, X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D. And with that being said, guys, we came to the end of our morning session of the daily Forex market analysis. If you're new here, I do this on a daily basis and then I upload a video if you get any, stuff, any, any kind of an action. If you're new, so consider subscribing, click the like button, smash the bell button, comment below if you agree or disagree with any of my, um, uh, I, I, I'd say, analyzes and my breakdown of the markets. So let's chat about it, let's make a discussion. And that's it. Hope to see you soon in the afternoon session. Thank you very much. And see you soon. Bye bye. Hi guys, and welcome back to Daily Forex Market Analysis from the afternoon session. Finally, we got some positive action for, for our equity curve. So to go from the beginning, the USD CAD just kept falling, falling. Now some kind of a news are happening, I guess, because this is a huge bullish momentum candle. And it's just pushing up and up and up and up. And I don't know, probably there is some kind of a news or whether on a CAD or, or, or on the USD, because I think it's a CAD because nothing else has been moving. So yeah, it's a CAD news. I haven't be watching anything on the USD CAD, so nothing here for us today. Here on the Aussie CAD, I did mark the zone here in the morning and said that price action will probably find some kind of a support in that zone and push higher to retest the highs. Currently, it's breaching above the previous highs, and if it closes here, we are continuing with our bullish move. However, I did not get engaged in any, anything of this, okay? Now the Aussie USD, nothing today, maybe this would be something, but uh, I'm not, you know, it's past my, actually it's not, for two more hours if something happens, I think this will be, this will be a bad pattern, let's check it out. Yeah, bad, but let's see, let's see, am I allowed to trade bats? I think that on this pair, I'm not allowed to trade bad patterns, and on this pair, pair Aussie cat, I'm not allowed to trade Gartley's, okay? So I would not be, I would not be engaging into this right here then we have a euro dollar and on euro dollar we had nothing basically today we had nothing here which was just moving kind of down and then up and uh this was not a good enough for Garfley. we didn't touch 61.8 let me just verify this in front of you yeah so we didn't get it 
uh, and this is such a past 50 past 61 so it's not a bad and nothing here finally we had a pound dollar where we were waiting for this big ass cipher from the week prior to the last week but we got this what is this uh, bad pattern here however price action came so close to, uh, to my pending orders for like four pips or so and then reversed and hit my would-be target one and currently we are here around you know we are playing around target one we will see what's going to happen will it reverse activate my trade or reverse back <coughs> and go to my would-be targets too i still have like two and a half more hours to go and if it activates me it's still valid a bad pattern okay uh and we had our winner for today which is a pound yen uh, garfly x to a a to b b to c c to d immediately within one hour it took me out for 17 pips a win okay so you can see that we took a win uh, 15 pips actually sorry uh we took a win and then a break even or uh you know one pip lot one pip break even position basically Overall, over my entire quarter one and just moving into quarter two in April, I am down around, what is it, 15 euros, which makes less than 1% down. We will see how long will this continue. Will I go more deeper in the drawdown or, or will I start kind of climbing out from the drawdown? Uh, and basically that's it guys there's nothing else finally some action i'm glad that i had a chance to upload this and show this to you upload this to youtube i do this on a daily basis only if we get an action like we did today and with that being said if you're new to this channel consider, consider subscribing because these kind of videos actually helped me a lot when i was just learning i'm still still learning by the way but they helped me a lot to see uh, how the professional traders approach the markets each and every day uh, also consider you know clicking like uh, like this video comment below share the video let's help as many people as possible thank you very much and speak to you soon hopefully tomorrow with some good news by the way bye bye